Grave violations of human rights in occupied Palestinian territories continue to occur each day with impunity. Crimes committed by Israelis against the Palestinian people. Israel claims that it fights against terrorism, but it actually practices state terrorism. Publish the list of companies um, collaborating and operating in the Israeli settlements. Israel must be compelled to seize its massive military attacks, collective punishment, blockade, and all grave breaches. Two years ago, I represented Iraq at Miss Universe. I posted a photo with Miss Israel on social media. I was told to remove it and forced to denounce Israeli policies. I received death threats. Since then, I can no longer return to my homeland. Why did the Iraqi government fail to condemn the threats or allow my freedom of speech? The issue between Arabs and Israelis go beyond policy disagreements. It's deeply rooted in the belief system taught in Muslim countries which are anti-Semitic. Sadly, hatred and intolerance are reinforced by biased media. When I watched the news last month, why did they never report that the Hamas terrorist organization fired nearly 700 rockets at Israeli civilians in one weekend? Or that Hamas used Palestinians in Gaza as human shields? Why do they never condemn Hamas for initiating the attacks? Instead, they only show those killed by the, in, by the response in self-defense and blame Israel. For advocating peace, I'm called a traitor. Why hasn't a single Arab media outlet called to ask my views? Instead, they publish false translations of my statements. I would like to remind Arab countries that today, you share more common interests with Israel than the terrorist militias. Negotiating peace for both states isn't betraying the Arab cause, but a vital step to end conflict and suffering for all. Thank you.